We believe in the resurrection of the dead. Not in the physical resurrection. But in mental resurrection. We believe that the so-called Negroes are most in need of mental resurrection. Therefore, they will be resurrected first. We believe in the resurrection of the dead, but not when you're physically dead. When you stop breathing in your heart, stop beating, and that man stick you in the ground, that's all she wrote. You are not going anywhere. Your soul isn't going anywhere. Your body isn't going anywhere. Nothing is happening. Now, no, actions of the most high. That's right. I heard the teaching so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Your biblical nationality according to the Bible. That's right. We are here to teach you God's chosen people. And that we commanded to keep his commandments. That's right. So do you know your nationality according to the Bible, sis? What's your nationality? Who are you, sis? Come over and talk to us, sis. We are here for you. Give me the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Because we are here commanded to show our people who they are and show our people their sins. That's right. Come on over, sis. Come talk to us, sis. We are here for you. You got that out? Got it. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah. I got that out. That's the book of and verse 1. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. We are here to command it to cry aloud. That means speak loud. We're not speaking soft like Joel Osteen or Pastor Porchard, Ricky Gay Rush. Most I command us to speak like men. We don't have to burn now. Do what? Burn now. And we are not out here to spur your feelings. We are here to teach you, thus said the Lord. That's whether right. you will hear or whether you will forbear. We don't have to let them die boys like they're drumming. Do what? Let them die boys like they're drumming. Not a lasses. Let them die boys like they're drumming. We are here to lift up our voice. Brother, come talk to us, brother. A lot of people don't understand. We out here for our people. We don't right. have and so mind be more don't show all people. So mind be more without asses. And so mind be more out here to show God's people who they are. And they breaking of God's laws. We don't know. They're transgressors. They're what? They're transgressors. They're what? They're transgressors. We are here to show our people their transgressions or their sins or their breaking of God's laws. Because women and fans, that is breaking God's laws. Interracial marriage, that is breaking God's laws. Homosexuality, that is breaking God's law. Bring it out, huh? And you're going to get judged for that. We don't know. In the house of David? In the house of who? In the house of David? You so-called Israelites. In the house of You so-called blacks, Native Americans. And you are so-called Mexicans. You are the house of Jacob. You are the nation of Israel. We don't know. There's that. There's what? There's that. We are to show our people their sins. And we are here to repent from that. Give me uh, Luke, what is that, 14 and 23. Because that's what we are here to do. We commanded to do this. Give me uh, John 3 and 3, y'all. Break it up. First off, y'all have to repent. Uh, Luke 14 and 23. Read this, huh? The book, of Luke, the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant. Unto the who? Unto the, the servant. The most high God told us, we are his servants. We don't know. Go out into the highway. Do what? Go out into the highway. Now stay up in a, in a pastor pool pit. Go, go out, out into, into the, the highway. highway. We are commanded to go out into the highways. Brother, did you know that shaving your head bald is a sin? That is breaking God's laws. We don't read from the top again up. And the Lord said unto the servant. Go out into the highways. We commanded to go out into the highways. We don't know. And hedges. And what? And hedges. Go out to the highways and hedges. We don't know. And compel them to come in. And do what? And, and compel, compel them, them to come, come in. in. And we are compelling our people to come in. You come in by keeping God's law. That's right. You repent in the faith that Yahweh shall turn from your wicked ways. We don't know. That my house may be filled. Hey, Shalom, brother. You know your nationality according to the Bible. Come talk to us, brother. Come over here, brother. We out here for you. Don't uh, don't pass us. We out here trying to reach our people. I see the brother got a little feminine spirit on that brother, man. He needs to come up out of that wickedness. We don't. Uh. For I say unto you that none of these men which were Biden shall taste of my supper. Shall do what? Shall taste of my supper. So if y'all not compelled to come into the house of the Most High, y'all not going to taste of the kingdom. That's right. That's what that's going into. It's our time our people raise up and come out from out of their wickedness. Read this, huh? John, chapter 3 and verse 3. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Then I say unto you, 
Except that man be born again. Except that what? Except that man be born again. Teaching our people to be born again. Not physically, but spiritually. Because all people are the walking dead in America. When they making all these so-called walking dead movies, they talking about our people. Come on, brothers. Y'all from the tribe of Issachar, come talk to us. Y'all one of God's chosen people. We don't, huh? We cannot see the kingdom of God. We cannot what? See the kingdom of God. So called African Americans. We're not see the kingdom of God. So called Mexicans. We're not see the kingdom of God. So called Native Americans. We're not see the kingdom of God. The false names are not in the Bible. The most high God calls you from the tribe of Israel. The, the, of the seed of Jacob. Give me Acts 3 and 19, huh? Bring it out. Is that it on that? That's it on that, huh? Our people, we're teaching our people to repent and come out from these wicked ways. Read this, huh? The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent, repent ye therefore. Battle Acts, repent, repent ye therefore. The most high God says repent. The word repent means to leave from your wicked ways. Turn from the most high God. Confess your sins. That's what they're not doing up in them Christianity churches. They get baptized, they ain't, they ain't confessing no sin. Pastor in there are homosexual. Sisters in there are dressed out of order. They're not out. Of. The church is out of order. That's why our, our nation is out of order. We don't up uh, and be converted. Yeah, okay. And be what? Right. And, and be, be converted. converted. And we trying to get you to convert or to change from your wicked ways. Leave off that sin. Stop smoking weed. Stop smoking cigarettes. Stop blowing out your sisters. Turn back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read that up. The book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 7. Even from the days of your fathers. Even from what? The days of your fathers. You know what? You are going away from me, from my ordinance. We have did what? And going away from my ordinance. We have left off from keeping God's commandments. Give me Judah 5 and 20. Bring it on. We percussions for that thing, man. When we leave God's commandments, there's no hedge of protection for us. Read that from the top again, huh? The book of Malachi. Malachi. Verse 3 and verse 7. Hold up, huh? Hey, brother, in the tank top. Hey, brother, come on, brother. Come over and talk to us, brother. We are in front of you, brother. Come on and see what we're about over here, brother. Come around. What tribe are you from? What's your, what nation of people do you come from? Kenya. From, uh... How do your people come over here? Some of our people are still over there in Africa, in different parts of the country. Did your people come over on them slave ships? Or did you migrate over here? Yeah, did you migrate over here? Or did your, or did your ancestors come over on slave ships? They did. You gotta prepare to search for your father, brother. Because we do understand. Give me uh, uh, Isaiah 11 and 11 right quick. Because we do understand some of our people are, but you do know we're not Africans, right? You do know it's the difference between the so-called Negroes and the Africans, right? You know, the Africans are the ones that sold us into slavery. Not us. That's that lot that they portrayed to us in, our, in those wicked school systems. Our own people was not selling each other into slavery. That'll be, that's just plain dumb to think that you would sell your own people into slavery. Read this, huh? The book of Isaiah, chapter 11 and verse 11. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. This is a future prophecy. Read on up. In that day. In that day. When the most high God sent Yahusha, our Lord and Savior, read. That the Lord shall turn his hand against us a second time. Against thee a second time to bring us up out of Babylon the Great. Read on. To recover the remnant of his people. Everybody. To recover the remnant of his people. Recover the remnant of his people. God's chosen people are the Israelites. Read on up. It shall be left from his people. From where? From Assyria. From Assyria. We still have people over there. Read on up. And from Egypt. And from where? And from Egypt. From where? And from Egypt. We still have people over there. Give me a Proverbs 28 and 1. It just been brought witness with his spirit. That's how we know. That's him for real. God. That's him. Read that up. The book of Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. One power. Battle axis. The wicked flee when no, no man pursue it. Cause these scriptures is coming out. That's why the flee, because they know this is the truth. That's ham right there. We are not so-called Africans. 
We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. right. The battle axes of the Most High God. That's right. And he's going to use us to fight for him. That's, That's right. right. To enforce these laws back on the planet once again. Right. 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 This is no game that we're playing up here. What you got, Ock? Go back to that Judah 5 and 20 right quick. Because it is consequences for us not keeping God's commandments. That's why we're on the bottom of society. That's why the so-called Africans can come in our neighborhoods and own everything. That's right. The so-called Arabs and the so-called white men. Right now, right. read this, Ock. The book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, if there be any error or any sin in the so-called Israelites, we don't know. And they sin against their God. And we do what? And they sin against their God. And, and they, they sin, sin against, against their God. God. And we sin against our power, the Most High God. Let and we break His commandments. We are. Let us consider this shall be their ruin. So if we break God's commandments, this will be our ruin. We don't know. And let us go up. And we shall overcome them. And the other nations shall work. And we shall overcome them. Give me Psalms 83, Art. And they shall overcome us. The other, the other nations have overtaken us. Well, that's why we're on the bottom of society. That's Staying right. in the ghettos and in the slums. You think that we just that inferior? We're the greatest people on the planet. That's right. The smartest. That's the, right. The strongest. That's right. right. The most spiritual. That's, That's right. right. It only had to have been from the most high that we are in this condition. We don't know. But if there be no iniquity, if there be no sin, no breaking of God's commandments, we don't know. In their nation, let my Lord now pass by. We don't know. At least their Lord defend them. At least our God do what? Defend, defend them. them. The World War Three. Defend, defend them. them. Nuclear bombs. Defend, defend them. them. Then once that happens, the Most High God will start to fight for us when we keep these commandments. That's right. We read. Throughout all of the scriptures, how he sent angels down to turn off the Assyrians for us, the Babylonians. That's right. And that's how he's going to overthrow this great kingdom right here. Read this, uh, the book of Psalms. That's the end of the land, one. Now let's read about the nations that overcame us. Read on up. Uh, we not done violence, oh my God. See, the King David is letting God, the most high God, know. Hold not thy silence. Don't be silent, but the Lord. We keeping your commandments. Come down here and save us. Fight for us. Send the black Messiah, Yahweh, shot to destroy this kingdom. We don't know. Hold not thy peace. Hold not thy peace. Don't hold your peace back. Because the Most High is long suffering from trying to destroy this kingdom. We don't know. And be not still, oh my God, oh God. And he's telling him, don't be still, oh God. We don't. For lo, thine low breed, thine enemy, thine white, thine enemy, thine white, thine enemies. Black man, black woman, you have enemies on this planet. We have now been, we have been taught to love everybody by our oppressors. Meanwhile, while they shoot us down in the streets, and they get a paid vacation in overtime, we don't know. Uh, Make us the more. And they that hate thee have lifted up their head. And they that love thee. And they that hate thee. No, have they that love thee. That hate thee. And they that hate thee. We don't know. Have lifted up their head. That did what? Have lifted up their head. The nations that hate us have lifted up their head. Nowhere in the history have the nations hit us like they have done us this state. They done destroyed us so much, we don't even know our true nationality. That's why this is the worst captivity. We don't know. They have taken grassy council and they have, what have they did? They have taken grassy council. Food stamps. They have taken grassy council. Our housing authority. Grassy yeah. council. Uh, 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 child support. Grassy council. These wicked Christian. Christianity Church, Grand 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 Council. all that is crafty council to come against God's chosen people. Do y'all know y'all nationality according to the Bible? We don't, huh? Against thy leading man. Against thy what? Thy leading man. Because the so-called black man, the so-called Mexican, and the so-called Native Americans, you are the hidden ones. That's Your right. nationality is hidden from you. That's right. All these other nations is in unison to keep your nationality from you. That's we don't, right. huh? Right. Let's see. They have taken grants and counsel against thy people. Uh -huh. And have consulted against thy land more. Against thy land. Against thy land more. Read up. They have said, Come, let us cut them out from being a nation. So called African American. Let us cut them out from being a nation. So called Mexican. Let us cut them out from being a nation. So called Indian. Let us cut them out from being a nation. They cut us off from being a nation. 
the most I let them overcome us because we didn't keep his commandments. We don't, huh? That's the name of Israel. That's the name of what? Israel. That's the name of what? Israel. That's the name of Israel. That is our true nationality. Sister, did you know your nationality according to the Bible? Did you credit you God's chosen people? Don't you know that God loves a certain race of people on the planet and that he hates another race of people? Sis, brother, do you think God loves everybody? You think God loves everybody? What scripture is that? Because we can give you plenty of scripture that God says he don't love everybody. That's give me right. Romans 9 and 13. Let's bring it out. Bring it out. The light change. Read this out. The book of Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it is written. As it's written in the Old Testament. Read it out. Jacob, Jacob is our love. Jacob is the forefather of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read on up. But he saw but who? But he saw which is the so-called white man. Read. Have I hated? I know God loves everybody. Have I hated? God hates a race of people on this planet. And it's our time our people wake up and realize that. That's right. Let's go back. I read. There is there. Come, let us get them out from being a nation. Let the name of Israel, let me know more and remember. They cut us off from our nationality. That's why we're calling ourselves African American. African American was just invented in 1985. How can you just be a few years older than your nationality? That makes no damn sense. Bring it out on. In the 50s and in the 60s, they called us niggas. They called us color. Why do our nationality always changes every few years? That's right. Our people never consider these things. We don't know. For they have consulted together with one consent. They have consulted together with one consent. Brother, you know your nationality according to the Bible? Come talk to us, brother. We are here for you. Do you believe in the Bible, brother? Brother, we are here teaching you the greatest people, brother. No, you ain't good if you're not keeping these commandments, brother. Come back and talk to us, brother. Read this out. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 3. And death. And what? And death. What did his brother just show? And, and death. Read it up. Shall be chosen rather than life. Brother, when you walk away from these commandments, from these teachings, you're choosing death, man. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 5, all right? Read on, up. For they are consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against me. They are what? They are confederate against me. All these other nations are confederate against us. Do y'all know y'all nationality according to the Bible? Do y'all care? We don't know. The tabernacles of Edom. I'm supposed to talk to us, brother. We don't know. The tabernacles of Edom. The so-called white man. He is the head ring leader of this angry tumult, of this angry gathering. We don't know. The Israelites. The who? The Israelites. The so-called Arabs. They involved in this. Sister, do you know your nationality according to the Bible? Do you read the Bible, sis? Why not? Do you not believe it? You think this is the white man's book? It's too long. Give me a uh, Revelation 1 and 3. Sister, reading is fundamental, sister. Let's read right. right quick out. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 3. Where's the read that reading? Read that for the sister again. Where's the read that reading? Read, the, read it for the sister one more time. Where's the read that reading? Sister, you are blessed when you read these scriptures, sister. That's what we are here trying to do. Don't you know that this is your photo album, sister? When you open up the Bible, don't you know that God is a so-called black man? Don't you know that Christ is a black man? Don't you know that all the angels are black men? Give me Psalms of Solomon 1 and uh, 1 and 5. Let's get what King Solomon looked like. Da, 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 da. You give me uh, uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Read this. You got it out there. You know y'all nationality according to the Bible? Y'all Ham? From Ham? Mm. All praise, bro. You know your nationality according to the Bible, bro? Yeah. What is it? All praise. I see you. Are Yo, you keeping the commandments, though? Exactly, because I see you got that cigarette. Put that cigarette while you out on the Most High God's property, man. Hey, on the right. Most High God for respect, man. Comfortably, where is that in the scriptures, bro? You understand that? All praise, give that brother a hand, man. All praise. You know, where's your fringes? Because I didn't know you was an Israelite because you don't have your fringes on, brother. Your fringes. Give me that in numbers 15 and 38. You know, we out here to teach our people to keep the commandments, brother. Read this right quick, God. 
The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. The Bible gives us specific commandments throughout the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. He's only talking to the Israelites, brother. This is not a universal book. We do And bid them. And command them, brother. That they may make their fringes in the borders of their garments. So God commanded us to make us fringes on the border of our garments. These are what fringes are, brother. That is a commandment. That's our dress code, brother. That's our heritage, brother. Do you know what comes with an heritage? The foods that you eat, the clothing that you wear, the, the holy days that you keep, and the customs that you keep. But in America, it's totally different from that country. Nobody actually has and that's understandable. Yeah, we understand that. Yeah, we understand. But guess what? The Bible has not changed. That's right. Yeah, right. right. are still the same scriptures. That's why we're coming back to who we are. Those are the wicked, brother. The Bible is in his hands of his rightful owners this day, brother. So you understand that? Bring on up. Throughout their generations. Wait a minute. What does throughout your generations mean? For forever, uh, so you should be having these on your clothing right this day. We don't have right, and that they put them on, upon the fringe of the borders, a ribbon of blue. So God instituted us a dress code. Let's see why. And it shall be upon you for a fringe, uh -huh. that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments. No, the ones I want to do. All, all the, the commandments. commandments. So these fringes are to remind us to what? Keep the commandments, brother. We don't not. Of the Lord and do them. How many commandments are there? Mm. I just gave you one, so what is that? 11? Brother, well, it's over 613 commandments, brother. That's what Christianity is not teaching our blood, bro. That's why our, our neighborhoods is in disarray. Because I'm going to give you another. Don't you know it's a sin to blood your hair, brother? Yeah. What scripture is it? Exactly. I, we have tattoos, but we don't repent it and we not get any more. Repent from that. Uh, brother, you how you gonna be? give me uh, Hebrews 10 and 25, 26. Brother, that's willfully sinning, brother. You don't want the kingdom, brother? He just be honest. Me. Do you care that you get the kingdom? The way the life has gone, it has transpired, and everything has changed. Give me Titus 2 and 11. Everything has changed. Nothing has changed, brother. This Bible says the same, brother. Read this right quick. The book of my God, chapter 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord. I day not. Oh, everything has changed. I day not. Even though the world has changed, brother, God doesn't change, brother. And the world has not changed that much. Whatever things were in the past is in the future. That's the regeneration of spirits, brother. That's some deeper things of the Bible. I see that you kind of got an effeminate spirit on you, too. Do you dwell in that up? You know that's against the Bible, don't you? So are you repented from that because do you know what that is, Art? Brother, you shouldn't be comfortable in that lifestyle. That's 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 give me James 1 and 14, Art. Because that's a, a lustful spirit. You know, something may have happened growing up or something. You got to fight that. You got to fight that, brother. Because that's not how God raised us to be. Don't you know that homosexuality is the number one genocide of our race, brother? That is the self-destruction of our people, brother. You understand that? No, brother, not for this. You understand that this is uh, a spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. Brother, read this. Hold on. Let me read this. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his own lust. From his what? His own lust. Re oh, read that again. Uh. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his own lust. Oh, brother, you tempted in that when you're drawn away from your own lust, brother. Probably watch your porn. You got to leave that stuff alone. Read on, huh? Every man and time. And what? And then time. And that it ties you, brother. Read on, huh? And when lust had con conceived. And when lust had conceived in your spirit, read on. It brought forth men. It did what? It brought forth men. Homosexuality. It brought forth men. Because that is the destruction of our nation. How can we make our nation strong when we're not multiplying, brother? That makes no dis no sense, brother. That's what the white man want us to do. To self-destruct, brother. Because I guarantee, if we put all y'all on an island, brother, y'all will be extinct in about a hundred years, brother. Dude, that makes no sense, brother. Brother, no, y'all could not, brother. Because it's no procreation, brother. In a hundred years, brother, y'all will be extinct, brother. Think about it. 
How can y'all have children when y'all not procreating with each other? Give me a uh, 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 Romans 1 to 25. Brother, them brothers are picking his head, brother. And we want to rip them up. Brother, they not doing nothing that these Bible say, brother. Why do you see us out here on the court? They behind and they pull pitch. Read this. Read this. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Brother, did you hear that? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Because throughout the Bible, homosexuality is a sin. The America made that uh, 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 acceptable, brother, the norm. We don't, huh? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Brother, say that again. Who made that the norm? Now read this right again. And, 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 serve. and serve the creature more than the creator. So, you just said the Europeans, the, the Most High God just said, we serving the creature more than the creator. When you're doing that, you serving the so-called white man, brother. Don't you know that is our enemy according to the Bible, brother? Did you know that, brother? So, why would you follow after something that you know is our enemy, brother? The Bible tells us, never trust thine enemy, brother. We don't, huh? More than who is blessed forever. Amen. We don't, huh? For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. So since you're dwelling in it, the Most High gave you up unto vile affections. Vile affections is not nothing good, brother. You got to come up out of there, brother. We don't, huh? For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Read that again, huh? For even the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Because what is the natural use of a woman? To do what? Have children. To multiply, brother. Right, right. Don't, huh? I can still multiply. And likewise, also the man leaving... Hold on. Also the man. Read on. The man leaving the natural use of a woman. Because when you're dwelling in homosexuality, you don't left the natural use of the, of the woman, yeah, brother. I right. have a woman if I want. I have women that will be all the time. Brother, that is confusion, brother. I, I know what I want, though. Brother, how can you say that you're dealing with men and then you're dealing with women, brother? I have I'm reading you what the scriptures say. Give me that in uh, 1 Corinthians 14. Hold it. Read on, honey. That's still judgment. Can we judge, brother? No, we can't judge. Give me that judging, honey. Let's see what the Bible says. Do you know what judging is? That's what judging is. Judging, exactly, brother. Judging and condemning is two different things. Right, right. We are correcting you, brother. We're not condemning you, brother. Right. We're not passing judgments on you. We're not telling you to repent and turn from that, brother. He'll build up our nation like strong men, lions of the tribe of Judah. Right, right. That is, that's not your natural state. Read this up. Uh, 31 and 8. I, I just to read on. Open thy mouth for the dumb. Verse 9. Verse 9. Open thy mouth. Judge righteously. The brother said we can't uh, judge. Judge righteously. So we can't judge if we judge it righteously. That's righteousness right. is keeping the commandments. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 25. You got to come up out of that homosexual spirit, brother. You got to come up out of that wickedness, man. You got that up. The book of Deuteronomy. Oh, it's right. Deuteronomy, yeah, Deuteronomy 6 and 25. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness. It shall be what? Our righteousness. Our what? Our righteousness. Come on up. If we observe to do all these commandments. Now we observe to do what? All these commandments. We don't know. Before the Lord our power. Before the Lord everybody's power. Before the Lord our power. We don't know. As he had commanded us. As he had what? As he had commanded us. As he had commanded us. Righteousness is keeping the commandments, people. That's right. Come over and talk to us. Do you know your nationality according to the Bible? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and uh, 6. You got 42 seconds. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Read on. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Break it out, huh? For thou art a holy people. For, but for thou art a holy people. The word holy means separated. Right. Holy means separate. 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 The so-called Israelites are a separate from all races on the planet. Read on, huh? Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God, a possessive pronoun. Read on, huh? And the Lord thy God has chosen thee. Has chosen all races. Has chosen thee. Has, has chosen his Caucasian. Has chosen thee. The so-called uh, Aram. Has chosen thee. So the Most High has only chosen Israel, which for they are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of.